Hey, what's happening? I'm at the, uh, as you can see, Rio Bravo campground. It's part of uh, the, uh, the Rio Grande Gorge National Monument. And I'll just give you a sh look out here on the road. It's a really nice area. It's about uh, 80s, low 90s during the day for a few hours and around the 50s at night. It's kind of comfy. The Rio Grande's right over there. Let me, let me show you that. Okay, there's my campsite. And here's the river. Can't really get a good view from here, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Okay. There we are. There's not a few out there. They come around here. That's north. It's running down that way towards the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, well. I hiked up to a ridge a few miles down the road this morning. A little bit more difficult than I thought it was. So, but anyway, the second tallest bridge in the United States is over to Rio Grande Gorge, which is about 10 miles that way up the road. So I'm going to go up there and show you. I was up there yesterday and took some photos, but one side of the gorge was... Uh, had a heavy shadow on it. So I don't go up there, it's a different time of day, so maybe the sun will be on the other side of the gorge. I can get some better photos. Now on my way to the bridge. There's the Rio Grande. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but the campground host uh, is a couple from West Virginia. They got rid of their house. They still have a, a piece of land with uh, hookups and a, and a slab where they can park the trailer if they have to. But other than that, they just do this full time. One campground to another. Uh, full hookups. Uh, $20 a day for each one of them. So that's 40 times, seven, four times seven, $280. So free, free hookups, free laundry, $280. And they just, you know, uh, work 20 hours a week or so. When they get tired of this place or it gets too hot, they just move on to the next location. A lot of people fishing here, too. Made it to Rio Grande Gorge. You can see it all looks flat. Let's go back here. It all looks flat and boring. There's a rest area. Rest area. But there's a buck over here a few feet. And this is really a sight to see. Okay, you know, I think the sun is on the other side of the gorge now. You see, look over there, I'm looking at tilt. But on the left side of the gorge, it's kind of dark. And it just doesn't produce a very good photo. I think today I'm going to be able to get some good shots. But let's, let me show you this stuff first. I guess I don't want anybody to jump off.
Now Taos, Taos is about 15 miles over that way. And here we go. The Rio Grande Gorge. And you come around here. And if you look right over there, I don't know how that got down there. Obviously somebody put it there. There's a stop sign down there. Just look for the red. Okay, but this is the bridge. There we go, Grande. And you can see, I'm going to cut it in a few seconds. But you can see you can walk out there. So I'm going to take some photos. I'm going to walk out there and I'm going to turn the video camera back on. All right, later. Okay, I made it to the bridge. I'm right about in the center. Okay, so there's the river facing south. And I go over here. And just go down, you can see it. Look for the red. There's that stop sign I was telling you about earlier. I'm sure, it's looked like somebody put it there. And we can see the river. You can actually hear it up here. It's pretty windy, so I don't know if you'll be able to. So. I think that's about it.